Hey, what's going on guys? <clears throat> so I'm gonna start this tutorial on how to make your own high definition screen recorder without having to download somebody else's. You can whip one together and it includes the microphone. You can do everything you need to do. <clears throat> so open up Visual Studio, create a C sharp Windows project, call it whatever you want. We'll do um, screen tutorial for this one. Just you know. Alright. All right, you can make it however big, however small, you know, it's up to you. Basically, you're just going to add three, well, let's let's just add two buttons. We're going to do start and stop. Just um, do whatever you want to, make them however big you want to, you know what I mean? Start and stop. Name this one start. And we'll name this one stop. All right. You change the name of the form to whatever. Booyah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go down here and change maximize because you really don't want to be able to, you know what I mean? You want to minimize, but that's good. All right, so double click start. We're gonna start by adding in references that we're gonna use. So the references that we know we're gonna need are gonna be, you can download Microsoft Expressions. So we'll right click on the references. We'll look for assemblies. We'll go to Microsoft Expressions. So you can just put expressions. Nope. Oh, let's see if I got it in here. Nope.com. Microsoft Expressions. Extensions. Sorry, that's my dog in the background being a silly dog. All right, so we know we want to have the encoder, and it's going to be up under extensions and assemblies. So we know we need the encoder, we need the encoder API2, we need the encoder types, and we need the encoder utilities. Make sure you add those. All right. You, if you're wanting to add your own little framework, that's on you. You can do whatever you want to do with that. All right, so at this point, we're going to put using Microsoft Expressions encoder using Microsoft expressions encoder devices using Microsoft expressions encoder screen capture <clears throat> using Microsoft Expressions encoder live. All right. Let's um, we got. Let's put our using system collections object model. Let's get that in there. All right. Basically, we got everything we need here. So let's begin. All right. We know on the button start, we want it to start. So we're going to put start recording. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Recording. And then we must define the variable. So we come down here, we put void start. Recording. All right. All 
new screen capture. Huh. New screen capture job. System. I'm saying it's not defined, we're not gonna worry about that until we get to where we need to be. System drawing size. Working area equals system information working area dot size rectangle <clears throat> capture rec. equals new rectangle go for zero comma zero comma working area dot width working area dot width Percentage of four, <clears throat> comma, working area dot width. This is working area dot height. Percentage of four. Let's close that out. Drop down. All right, now we define job dot. Doesn't have to be capital, so on and so forth. So. Job capture rectangle uh, equals capture rec. Close it. Job dot show. Flash boundary equals true. Close that out. Show countdown, and this will count it down. We'll see three, two, one on your screen, so on and so forth. Equals true. Hmm. Sorry, it's early in the morning. Um, let's define job so we get that out of the way. Private. Screen capture job equals job. Close it out. Done. Flashing. I'm sorry. Bam. All right, job capture mouse. <clears throat> Cursor equals true. All right, then we got, let's see, job dot add audio equals true, or you wouldn't be able to hear me. Let's go back here and define the audio source. Audio devices. 
close that out.